You check out the Nipton Town Hall yet? Legion this far west? Unless you burn... Coming from the north? Must be crazy to brave those roads. What? There's no way. We're miles from the Colorado. Hey there, you look... that elite unit hello there welcome to the huh it's on the way to support the army i've been hearing a lot of good things great Yeah, you did good finding. You up? I've got a ship.
Honored to speak with you, ma'am. Back west, you don't see too many of these. Lakes, I mean. Natural or man-made. Any kind, really. We neglected the dams or pumped all the water out a long time ago. Owens, Isabella, the San Luis. Drained the aquifers of everything they had. Just a lot of mud and dust now. It's a different feeling watching the sun come up over the water. It takes some getting used to. But if you hear long enough, it starts to seem normal. That's what a ranger's life is now, looking east. You must be the courier folks have been talking about. Word on the radio is that someone wronged you back in Good Springs. The Mojave has a way of burning decent people up. But it sounds like you've done right by the NCR. It's appreciated. Now what can I do for you? Folks around here call me the chief, but Hanlon's just fine. The rangers run themselves pretty well, but I try to lend a hand. Mostly administrative work, helping coordinate intel on the radio. That and keeping an eye on the fires growing across the water. It's a simple system when it works. Patrol rangers radio intel to ranger stations. Comm rangers send the intel up the station chain until it reaches Camp Golf. Then I or one of the other rangers on duty organize the data, evaluate it, and send information to camps or troopers in the field. Comm rangers might have an incomplete picture of the situation. There's a lot going on out there. Intel needs to be coordinated through golf so we can verify and advise appropriately. Troopers have enough to deal with. We don't want them questioning their intel. Shoot. Word is that the Legion's old timers have shown up. Caesar's veterans from the Red Oaky Centuria and what was the Painted Rock tribe. They're the best of the best and the baddest of the bad. Short of a centurion or praetorian, they don't come any tougher. You come across a pack of them, weigh your options carefully. Caesar's elite guard. They travel with him wherever he goes. A bit of insurance in case any of his guests get funny ideas. They aren't the toughest legionaries, but they're the most devoted to Caesar. They believe in everything the Legion stands for. Take a regular Legionary and age him 10 years. Whatever they lose to age, they make up for with experience. Life expectancy isn't long in the Legion. You live 10 years in Caesar's army, you're 
force to be reckoned with. There's no real equivalent to them in the NCR. Centurions are battle-born elite officers who earn their rank with blood and sweat. They wear special outfits, too, pieced together from the armor of all their defeated enemies. Good commanders, tough opponents. Shoot. Mojave outposts sent word through the stations. The Rangers coming up from Baja moved through Daglo a week ago. Some of the patrol rangers have reported that Oliver's power armor heavy troopers are starting to reinforce the front lines. Wish they got here a bit earlier, but that's a Senate for you. The Baja rangers can do more advanced night scouting and sharpshooting to assist the troopers. Ranger combat helmets are old pre-war gear. They have built-in low-light optics makes a big difference. They have the best equipment the NCR can get its hands on. Power armor salvaged from a war with the Brotherhood. Tech strip out the joint servos so you don't need special training to wear it. It feels like you're carrying a Brahmin on your back, but it can take a heck of a lot of punishment. Shoot. The best of the best, and worst of the worst. He came out of NCR, one of the followers of the apocalypse. Like a lot of the followers, he went out in the wilderness with a partner to try to help those who needed helping. Not much different from how the Rangers used to be, except with books and medicine instead of guns. Shoot. Out to the Grand Canyon. He met a missionary from Utah, a man by the name of Joshua Graham. Graham helped translate for the followers and the tribes. All three of them got nabbed by the Blackfoots down there, back when they were still at war with every other tribe in the Southwest. Somewhere along the way, he realized he needed to educate the Blackfoots or they were gonna get wiped out with the rest of the tribe. Showed him how to use guns, how to make explosives. Once he taught the Blackfoots a thing or two, they needed him. And he no longer needed the followers, NCR, or anyone else. He decided he could remake the tribes of the Southwest whether they wanted it or not. He became Caesar, and Joshua Graham became his legate, his right hand. And that's where Graham stayed until Hoover Dam. Losing the dam was the worst defeat the Legion ever suffered. Graham had been with Caesar since the beginning, but he had to set an example. The Praetorians covered Graham in a pitch, lit him on fire, and down into the Grand Canyon he went. It's not that clear cut. You have to understand, Graham was the toughest son of a gun anyone around these parts had ever seen. Before Hoover, we had five kill reports on Graham from Rangers and first recon sharpshooters who tried to take him out. Some folks think he's still alive. Call him the Burned Man. Yes and no. The Blackfoots don't exist anymore. Just like any other tribe that gets swallowed by the Legion. Caesar takes the tribal out of the tribe. Scrapes and burns off tattoos, breaks up families, forces mixed breeding so all the old loyalties die away. The only tribe in the Legion is the Legion. Caesar is their chief, father, and god, all rolled into one. Shoot. I could tell you a lot if you had the time. But at my age, I'm not sure which of us would get tired first. What do you want to know? Suppose it depends on what you think's good. Most folks want to hear about Hoover Dam and Boulder City, but it's a long story. If you want some tall tales about hunting down slavers or busting up gangs, talk to one of the younger rangers. It's kind of a long one, but all right. 
About 20, 25 years ago, a group of NCR settlers pushed way south into Baja. I guess it doesn't seem so far now if you look at a map, but back then they were out of ways. They built this little shanty town around a well in the middle of nowhere. Called it Rattletail. Word got back to one of our stations that raiders had been attacking the place. I went out with six rangers. We must have been on the trail for a week before we got to Rattletail. We lost one woman to night stalkers and another almost died of dehydration. When we reached the place, it's six shacks set up around an old well. There's over two dozen bodies lying in the dunes way outside of town and five men with 308 rifles crouched behind sandbags. And these bodies, these people out in the sand, they aren't raiders, aren't even heavily armed. They're just people who were trying to get to the only well in 50 miles. I didn't have to talk to the men to see that they did not care one bit. They had planted an NCR flag over the well. And they would not budge until every last one of them was laid out dead and cold. So I walked up and told them there was a group of raiders coming, 100 strong. I made up some cockamamie name for them and everything. The men looked at each other, looked at us, and asked me what we were going to do about it. I told them we would take them back into NCR territory because we'd already lost 10 rangers on the way out. 10 rangers, five men with 308 rifles. Well, that was enough for them. They packed up what they could and we took them back north. Last I heard, they settled somewhere in Anza Borrego, raised big horners, had some tough times, but it worked out okay for them. So there you go, that's my one bit of good. In big battles, Caesar deploys his legionaries in waves. Recruits up front, prime soldiers behind the recruits, old guard bringing up the rear. Opponents wear themselves out dealing with the first two waves, if they survive that long. When the veterans step up, there's not much fight left. Caesar can adapt, though, and when required, he can run any mix of legionaries as skirmishers and still retain order in the ranks. Joshua Graham, Caesar's old legate, he wasn't so flexible. When the Legion attacked Hoover Dam, General Oliver ordered his troopers back to the middle ground just after first contact. Graham pushed all of the Legionaries onto the dam, filling the east side with recruits up front and veterans in the back, by the book. But once they were in, they were stuck there. Oliver's troopers were entrenched and wouldn't give a foot. That's when we ordered the Rangers and the first recon sharpshooters to start picking off veteran Legion officers from a high ridge west of the dam. That only lasted about a minute before Graham ordered the back ranks to push through to the front and rush the ridge. Caused total chaos among the younger Legionaries. Oliver's troopers fell back to the side walkways and stayed out of the veterans' way. By the time the veterans got to the ridge, we were already in Boulder City. They followed us down there, but we were out before they realized what was happening. We had packed the old city with C4 and dynamite. Crude, but it did the job. Those who didn't die in the blast were in no position to mount a defense. The ones left on the dam didn't know what to do. The troopers routed them. Graham pulled the remaining legionaries back, but the battle was over. He went south, back to the Grand Canyon, back to Caesar. And that was the last we saw or heard from Joshua Graham. Shoot. Adios. <laughs>